Hi Hip Kick Club friends, this is Nikki Rowland and today I am making a layout based um, actually, sorry, using the uh, May kit. So I had the May uh, main kit, the pocket life kit, um, the embellishment kit and also the colour kit too. So I had all of the kits to play with um, and um, I'm also using um, this sketch here um, for today's layout and my challenge is also to include an interactive element. Well, I don't really do interactive elements and I struggled and struggled and struggled. I've started this layout four times um, and uh, couldn't, I've swung from doing um, a tag to um, a little mini book on the page and folding out things and an opening window and all sorts and eventually uh, I just gave up and <laughs> I settled on this little um, moving rainbow uh, that you'll see. So what I have done is I have uh, taken a piece of white, uh, sorry, a journaling card, 6 by 4 journaling card and I have cut using my um, die cutter, that's a big shot, not my silhouette, um, and I've cut out two circles, concentric circles, um, that will um, fit, so that the go on this journaling card so I've cut them out um, okay so this is the back of the journaling card now and I am applying um, foam pads sticky fixes um, all the way around the edge of this um, opening so this is the outside piece and then I have got a penny it's actually a five pence coin because uh, it was a bit smaller and uh, worked better um, so and I'm gonna put that in between the two pieces so the two circles um, and that is going to give me a little spinning coin that will go all the way around the circle um, and um, it will also so spin as well so the, the spinning part is important um, so um, I have cut my journaling card I've cut those two circles out of it and then I'm taking a another piece of six by four card just a piece of white card to go on the back of it so it's literally the same size I just made it ever so slightly smaller um, so and you can you see how my penny will um, travel between the foam pads so I just need to make sure that I have this uh, right and um, they was getting stuck in a few places uh, so I just had to make sure that I moved those foam pads over a little bit um, so that this would work so there is my first one putting my 5 p.m. and now I'm taking the foam pads off of the other piece and I'm going to put that in that aperture there okay so you can see that and now I have this penny that moves around the concentric circles okay so the idea is that my rainbow is going to sit on that penny I've just got adding a foam pad um, and um, then I can move the rainbow around however I did the made a boo-boo at the beginning and put three foam pads on the penny um, and uh, therefore my um, rainbow was unable to spin so I had needed just to have one small foam pad and therefore when I move the rainbow around the circle the penny spins and therefore my um, rainbow stays at the correct orientation each to each all the way around okay so that is my interactive element uh, for this layout my goodness it took me a long time to get there um, but I'm very pleased uh, with how it turns out it's really cute actually the way that it moves it's very very cute um, so uh, whether I'll ever take it out of the page protector and uh, move it around I don't know but it is cute the way that it does move around so yeah that's awesome uh, so there you go I've fiddled with it a lot uh, while I'm making this layout so I wanted to make sure that um, if whatever position it was in it didn't cover up the subject of my photo uh, so I just had to make Sure that was okay i'm adding on the phrase from the ephemera uh, ch out chasing rainbows and i've put some silver thread underneath that as well a little tangle of silver thread so there you go you can see how my rainbow moves there um i fiddle with it so much that some one point it comes off <laughs> So uh, just, um, yeah, this, these things happen, right? Um, anyway, so um, I am now putting my layout together. So I'm using the sketch and instead of the large area of mixed media, um, I wanted to use some paper layers. Uh, so I've got those on first, but then I just decided that I would also like to include some mixed media. Now, as this is a pattern paper background, which is not something I do that often, um, I put some ac white acrylic paint on the background first. This is basically to prime it uh, so that it doesn't warp too much when um, I uh 
or I put my mixed media stuff on, so the wet stuff basically, so not too much water. Um, so, um, so yeah, I'm just um, adding, right, you can see there I'm using the Lindy's in order to um, make a, use some, some pack with the packaging technique basically. However, um, the Lindy's are so, so highly pigmented that I ended up creating this um, really, really dark, intense uh, watercolour, which is not what I wanted. I wanted something light. Uh, so what I've done is I've added some white acrylic paint to that Lindy's that I made there um, and uh, made it a bit lighter. However, it's now a thick paint rather than um, a spray, so it hasn't spread around in the watercolour way quite like I would like it to. Um, I'm just adding some flicks there, some splashes uh, with a paintbrush and some more watered down uh, paint. Um, and uh, it's okay. It doesn't look too bad. It's not quite the look I was aiming for but actually in the end I end up covering practically all of it up anyway so we won't worry too much about it. Um, so um, I'm just trying to smoosh out my um, background there a bit more so make it appear a bit more like the regular normal packaging technique would look with a wet uh, medium rather than a thicker paint um, and I've added some powders directly to the background um, and sprayed water over them um, to make them uh, spread and then what I'm doing here with the blue I was really careful with the blue because it is so very very intense um, I just added a tiny bit of powder to a piece of packaging and sprayed the water onto it and then applied it using the packaging technique that way so actually this turns out looking quite nice but literally I do end up covering almost all of it up when I make my layout so you'll see that a bit later on but the blue over to the right hand side shows and a small amount of it shows down to the bottom as well um, and I did just want some of those flicks and splatters to to show. Um, I think it really adds to a layout. Um, I think it's really nice the way that the uh, flicks kind of add interest to a background. I don't do well with pattern paper backgrounds. Um, I should stop doing them because I never really like what I create. Um, and um, so uh, yeah, I just had to do my best basically, do my best with this one. And um, I wasn't happy with the mixed media. I wasn't happy with the background. I wasn't happy with the shaker, the not the shaker element, the uh, interest element so uh, basically I had a you know disaster of ma making this layout but it has come together eventually um, I'm reasonably pleased with it it's okay it could be worse right it could be worse um, so uh, right okay so my background is dry now and I'm just getting my paper layer stuck in place I've distressed all of the edges um, and I've torn that bottom paper as well I really do love that striped paper it's a really fabulous color scheme um, so I've just put that into place and I've put that piece of gingham uh, blue, navy blue above it um, and I've kept that piece of white card um, in place because I don't think I can actually make a layout without any white card. I think uh, it just goes against the grain. Um, I just can't cope. So um, I've put a piece of white card there. It just gives me a bit of uh, white separation between all of the elements and my photos. So I think it really helps lift layout. Uh, so uh, I'm going to keep doing that one. Um, okay, so I'm just getting my main elements stuck in place there. So that's the 6x4 journaling card on the background with the interactive uh, Chasing Rainbows. Um, and and uh, a little journaling card there that has a rainbow on it, which goes obviously brilliantly with this photo and the um, ephemera. So um, I'm now just trying to make sure I can cluster up um, some embellishments over on the right hand corner um, without my rainbow um, being affected, the moving element, the interactive part being affected. So I just constantly aware of where the moving element goes um, just to make sure that um, it will be able to move unhindered by all of the embellishments that I am putting uh, on the layout. Um, so right now I have just taken, I like the silver the, with this colour scheme rather than the gold so I've taken off the gold thread from the uh, tassel and tied some silver thread around the top. I've removed the jump ring too, don't need that. Um, so I've now just stuck that in place to the right of my rainbow. And now I'm just going through and figuring out what ephemera I can use. I wanted to um, include some more uh, bits and pieces. I love this um, exclusive ephemera by Hip Kit Club. Um, it's got some really gorgeous, gorgeous pieces in it. I love the colours. Um, I love the way that it all looks. Um, and I'm uh, cutting out a word May from the May Pocket Life Kit. Um, it was on one of the journaling cards. I think I'd used the rest of the journaling card for something else, um, but on this occasion, um, um, 
I wanted to use the word May. Um, that was it's the date of my photo is May, basically. So I was, it's really so pretty. Those three colours um, of alphabet plus the spray of flowers underneath. Um, it was too pretty not to use. So um, I've put that uh, at the bottom right hand side of my layout. Um, so I'm now just ca carrying on um, building up the embellishments there more and more uh, of the ephemera uh, this is a rainy day photo as you can see we have umbrellas and um they're still smiling which is lovely we just at the moment in the uk it just won't stop raining um this week has been terrible uh, it's rained literally all day every day um and this is actually a photo back from may but uh, this week in june has been terrible too and it's not been great weather um, ever since that photo was taken really so um, but hey you know we have fun in the rain we splash in the puddles we get to use the umbrellas um, so um, so yeah they are still smiling even though um, it's been chucking it down with rain now for weeks um, so um, I just wanted to document our rainy weather here in the UK um, and uh, as I say they love their umbrellas so it's actually quite exciting for them to use their umbrellas as an opportunity to get them out and uh, bash each other with them half the time um right so anyway back to this layout i am um just going through and adding and adding and adding bits and pieces there's so much in these fabulous hip kits that are spoiled for choice i've got so much to use um so i'm currently making up one of the bows uh, fabric bows that are exclusive in these months kit in this month's kits um and i've just stuck that underneath my um out chasing rainbows making sure that it won't get covered up or be in the way for when I move my uh, piece of ephemera. There we go, it's okay just about. Um, and now it's got stuck and then it's come off again. Oh dear, what a disaster. Um, <laughs> so uh, I have to quickly repair that. Um, I've also put the time underneath, 7 a.m. It's definitely not 7 a.m. at the time this photo was taken, but it is first thing in the morning. We always struggle to get out in the mornings. We don't ever seem to be on time. We're always running a bit late. Um, so the seven o'clock alarm clock um, made me chuckle and made me think of our crazy mornings here um, and also um, I've put the radio uh, that kind of reminds me of an alarm clock over to the right hand side you know again it's the time or uh, it reminds me of mornings so um, this was uh, that, that kind of they all went together kind of thing um, okay so I'm just trying to find a home for some uh, word stickers I've got pulled out life is good no drama this is real life and it's all right because all of those go perfectly with rainy day photos so I'm just um, finding a place for those so I've got a few clustered under my photos and one um, at the top there on the top of the journaling card I like the top of the journaling card because it's white and the background is quite white it's not it is a pattern paper background but it's quite white still um, so the top of the journaling card kind of got lost against the background so um, adding that dark a strip at the top there was really good it kind of um, gives it a uh, an edge and then I've also cut one of these transparent stickers as well and I've tucked that underneath just to again give it a bit more of an edge it, it just makes the top of the journaling card a little bit more obvious um, I've added the title shine um, I um, change that a bit later on and uh, add some more words so that star is actually in the way so I just have to move that I'm adding some um, big drips of um, the Lindy's in the blue, the denim colour. It's a really lovely colour. It's very dark and intense. So I did a tiny bit of powder and quite a lot of water in order to get um, lighter coloured drips. Um, so I've just added those to the left and the right of my layout plus at the top as well kind of extending my uh, spray at the top of the layer up to the top of the uh, the top edge of the layer uh, so I'm just handwriting in my journaling right now which is um, just about rainy days and um, how happy they still are even though it's chucking it down with rain oh and look there's my rainbow moving again um, so I'll never get bored of it I don't think um, so I'm just adding in um, another bit of tangled thread I've only got one under my rainbow out chasing rainbows phrase at the moment so I felt like I needed another one so I've put that in uh, to the bottom left of my photo and I've just got the tangles um, coming out um, here's when I decided to um, add in some extra words so I just 
decided decided to go for rain or shine for my title uh, because they are happy come rain or shine so um i it was a genius moment that i thought of a bit too late but <laughs> if i did anyway so i added it in um so i loved the i didn't want to use the blue um alphas i thought that would be too dark at the top of the page there so i pulled through the light pink ones they get slightly lost on the background because it's got splatters on it and it's got rainbows um so i've just drawn around it with a gray pen not a black one a gray one uh, to just lift it a little bit without it being overly bold because um, I didn't want a bold title I wanted a subtle one but of course I do still need it to be seen um, and then I've stitched through those three words um, with black thread on my sewing machine um, and that is me done I'm going to call that done at that point so finally going to leave this alone this layout's taken me so long to make you have no idea um, <laughs> anyway I hope you enjoyed my process uh, and uh, my troubles getting there um, but uh, yeah thank you so much joining me that was Nikki Rowland for Hip Kit Club. Happy scrapping!